Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. You know, the conventional wisdom seems to be that a rifle barrel will always provide better accuracy than a smoothbore. Uh, so today we're going to put that theory to the test. I've got two virtually identical barrels for the Utah pistol, the only difference being that one is a smoothbore and the other one's rifled. Um, these, of course, are the barrels that I made in my videos on uh, DOM tubing for barrels and on the demonstration of the so-called Norris Chuck uh, helical machining apparatus, respectively. Uh, but anyway, we're going to shoot some targets both with round balls and with conical bullets out of both of these barrels and see what we can do. Well, here we have our results. Now, this is the target I shot with the smoothbore and with the rifled barrel. Uh, I, I put circles around the holes that were made with round balls and X's through the holes that were made by the conical bullets. And so, examining these two targets, I think we can see uh, a couple of pretty clear patterns emerging that the round balls shot better than the conical bullets and the rifled barrel shot a lot better than the smoothbore. Um, you know, looking at the smoothbore target, the round balls grouped in maybe an eight inch uh, group there, a little bit low. Uh, not necessarily a bad group for a homemade muzzle loading handgun, but then we come over to the rifled target and I was shooting a three inch group at 25 yards with the round balls from the rifled barrel. Um, I think I would be hard pressed to shoot better than that with a handgun, even using a, a modern match grade centerfire handgun. Uh, so that accuracy really is pretty remarkable. Uh, now the conical bullets from the smooth pour opened up into this 12 inch group, dropped really low, and as you can see, three out of five shots went through the board sideways. Uh, so clearly they were tumbling through the air. Over on the rifled target, um, again, the conical bullets spread out quite a bit and dropped a little bit, uh, although not as much as with the smoothbore. And here, at least, they are all still nice round holes, so they were at least stabilizing, even if they weren't flying as accurately as might be desired. But anyway, uh, I think we've conclusively substantiated the the theory that rifling improves accuracy or at least has the potential to improve accuracy so i think that's about it for this video thank you for watching the Idaho show